Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Uh, let me continue our hospital management system video. So here we, in our last class, we have created the enums. We have to create the uh, gender type, right? So we have a male or female, right? So we have to write like this, so enums, right? So enums, we have to, uh, enums, we have to specify the types, gender type, account types, everything we have to managed by the enums right this is a professional way to we have to write it so you have to complete the dto doctor now i'm going to complete the dto as a patient so i'm going to create as a patient dto right here the patient what are the attributes we have a patient so let's open up our uh mysql workbench right so if you are not yet installed the mysql workbench you have to install the mysql workbench so instead of mysql workbench if you want to use it as a php uh, xam server you can use it there is no problem so it is simple we are using the mysql workbench we no need to install the xam right so so what is our database apl hospital this one so here this is a patient patient table columns consists of this following columns right first name last name email gender right so specialization we don't need so that we don't worry about that this is all the things we have these properties we have copied right copy all the properties right so we have to remove this one expert of this right right now is gender type also there now what you're going to do is the patient also gender male or female we have to manage by this enum so we have to write a enum get type over here patient get a gender type and gender right so here also we have to add the insert code constructor we need all the constructor select all gender generate right click generate insert code constructor select all and select none generate blank constructor we have to generate the get and set method select all and generate that's it right after that we have to write the user type so we have to write user right user dto we have consists of the uh the, what are the things we have done it here user dto user here we have a columns right here id uh, name, first name last name email password row password row right okay there are the columns right the password row right so what you are going to do is here i am going to make it as a account type right so so first what you are going to do is here i am going to go to the enums okay this enums I am going to create the separate field, so this is not here. That's that is a account type. So you write a others for the others. You have to select the enums, right? Next, you have to write account type, which is a sorry, account type. Account type here you already my account type. But what are the things you have to doctor or patient? But right? you have to write it like this: doctor or patient. Right, account type doctor or patient you have to write here where's the account type here. doctor you have to write capital letter doctor comma patient right that's all managed by the account type enums right that's the thing you have to write okay so now here we have to implement these all things saving the email here email and here another attribute which is a password also there i think uh, yeah password and row so this is a password it's a password you have to implement a password after that what you are going to do is you have to row row also we have to implement like this so how to the same thing you have to done the creation part the same thing you have to write copied here also you have to write the Gender, not a gender type, gender type, it's a account type. 
account type here you write account type Linux, right? Now you have just your generate like this. Right click, insert code, constructor, all constructor generate, code, constructor, select all, none, generate. After that, you have to write the generate code, const, get and set method. We need all the get and set method, right? Everything we have generated successful. We done all the required things successful, right? We have done all the required things successful right now what we are going to do is um, we have done the patient and dto part now let's go to our view okay so here we have a view right view what you are going to do is we have to design the form okay we have to design the form, right so after design we will do the database config database config we have done already we have designed the part right so for the view select the view package right click new jfray form first one i'm going to design as a patient right your patient right the so patient form we have to something like this or write like this what are the things we have here these are the attributes so first name last name email gender right email gender right so i'm going to go to design this you have to drag one panel to here this panel I'm got this one name it here right click for this it's a border here to background you have to change it as a this blue I like it right so here we have tried it as a label patient select this one properties font bold 48 right if you want you can change the color and all okay right so i keep sorry if you want you are change the font family i want to change the for foreground color as you can change it as a as white it's perfect it's perfect it's set on the screen after that what you're going to do is we have done this so far well we have drag the another labels rest of the labels we have drag it so instead we have to delete them instead of that we have to drag one uh crew box okay before you drag the labels we need a group box it's very now we can get the nice look and feel of the application if you have drag the group box so you have drag one panel here the patient right this panel which you are going to so right click properties what you are going to see here uh, we have to write the border so border click on the border this border you have to make it as title with oh no i don't want to get bevel board it's something like nice okay something nice border look nice and here i'm going to Add the following labels right so you have to write this one so the patient first name so first name right click properties with bold 14 oh 14 is too i feel it's too small so i'm going to make it as a little bit now see the puppy control with the patient. This one second one should be the last name. Email uh so sorry. Last one email gender. So email control C to copy control V to paste get end the copy. Email after that same control C to copy control V to paste it's a gender. Select here something problem. Right. Gender. <coughs> Gender. Right. Now we have dragged the respective text fields. So we have dragged and drop it like this. Right click and edit text backspace to remove the existing text. 
again you have to go to the properties window uh, we have to make the font little bit bigger as 14 it would be perfect for you it would be perfect right now you yeah, select this one this label change variable you name it as txt first name you have to write like this as a camel case but there's a professional way to type the names Control c to copy Control v to paste and get another copy this one you have to name it as txt last name this Control c to copy Control v to paste and get another copy txt email this one we have drag it there combo box drag the combo box right this combo box what you are going to do is we have to increase the size little bit to 18 this also a uh, bit bold with bold here also what you are going to do is we have to add the item so we have to get the model so we have to write two things what's the gender male or female female that's it two options male or female that's the thing you have to write male or female right this is the simple application right so here this is the application what you're going to see here we have to done we have to do the uh, thing is the save and your button we need a buttons here right here quite save Select this one properties bold font increase little bit 14 okay, it would be fine same thing copy and paste it here and get another copy this one should be the update third one should be control c to copy control v this one should be delete right now we have designed this simple form now you have to drag one j table as well so we have a j table you have to get get the j table from the palette right it's there here you just drag and drop on your form simply you have to it look like this right perfect this one also we have to reduce the size little bit small put arrange like this right perfect simply or perfect it fit on the screen right here you have to arrange the unwanted space we have to leave that then not it will be professional application will be professional you have to make it as right perfect now this one right click table content columns first one should be id second one is a first name second one is the last name email or we have to insert another field this is gender Now it's, it's perfectly fit on the screen. Right. Now what you're going to do is here we have to click on this. You can see as output is not a good. Right. So we have to make some changes. So select the window here. This one J table. Here you have to table content you have to remove that this all these columns uh, sorry uh, the default rows delete the default rows select and remove the loop right perfect now let's select here go to the source the control f UI press enter key here you have to find it as a metal 
Bueno, me atrevo a esta perra. Te voy a ir a Oxlack, te voy a ir igual. Right here. So, we need to pass you have to make it as a metal. Now, you can check and check out the feel of the application here. It is the actual look and feel of the application, but it's not display correct portion. So, what you're going to do is here, again, here, go over here, design, select the frame, right click, properties, code, generate center. Now, again, you have generate it. So, come as a here. Just come as this professional way, right? I hope you guys will understood things well. I'll be getting touch with you in my next video tutorial. Right? Thank you.